Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I am recording using the rear camera at the start of this video of both the uh, brand new Razer Plus or Razer 40 Ultra in some regions and the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now, this is at 4K 30. Get an idea of the microphones, all that fun stuff. But the cool thing about the Razer, as you can see here, is you can clearly see the whole screen in comparison to that. So, anyway, let's go ahead and switch to 4K 60. So, moving over to 4K 60, the one thing you notice is, of course, image is sharper, but the Galaxy doesn't have preview at 4K 60 on the Z Flip 4, while the Razer still does. So, this is the Galaxy right there, the preview, and you can see it's preview. So, you get a good idea of what it does and also stabilization, all that fun stuff. I'm in the city, so let's go ahead and uh, take some photos. All right, let's take a look at the internal cameras uh, within the larger display. Again, recording on 4K 60 for both of them, and you can see how well they perform in terms of lighting, color, all that fun jazz. But uh, yeah, now let's seriously go take some photos. Okay, now we're recording at night using both cameras and there's a lot of street lights so you can see some separation. I'm trying to extend it as much as possible. But again, this is a good idea of what lighting will be using the rear cameras. And I'm just gonna spin around the other way and you can see now uh, this part of the street here is darker, but you get an idea of what we're getting here. So you've seen video and images from both devices and it looks like, look, the Galaxy Z Flip 4 camera is slightly better in some situations, especially low light, but overall they are pretty much mm, close. Now, what about hardware? But the most glaring factor is that the cover display on the Motorola uh, Razr Plus is much larger than what we have on the Z Flip 4. Z Flip 4 here has this 1.7 inch uh, cover display. It's great for going through quick widgets. You can also use it as the viewfinder for uh, your photos as you saw earlier. And that's pretty much it. Now, looking at the Razer Plus, 3.6 inch POLED display, 144 Hertz. It is really smooth. And <clears throat> it's not just the housing for widgets. You can see how how large it is and also how much of the real estate it actually uses. You can have your apps in there, you can have widgets, you can have games, you have quick access. I have a bunch of apps here 
And in speaking of gaming, uh, this excels pretty well in gaming, uh, where you can jump on some of the quick games they have here, like the Stack Balance, which is something you will find quite addictive. But you can also play games like Call of Duty Mobile on this display. We're able to play it here. And the cool thing about it is that from here, you can start your gameplay on the external display, which is not that comfortable. You can resize it so it's on the whole screen or you can move it above the camera housing. And then you can also just open your device up and continue gameplay that way. And if you're done, you can close it and continue gameplay on the cover display as well. So that is a huge benefit here. Now you're wondering how do some of the apps look on this cover display? So you can go into an app like Twitter. Uh, let's just go to hit allow there. You can see how Twitter looks. I'm gonna make sure it's full size. We can see we're not arrive here. Um, and you've got full access. It's pretty nice. You can see this photo of Roberto. Just looks pretty good here on that display. So it takes advantage of some of these things quite well. Um, an app like TikTok where you can see again quite clearly you can go into videos pretty well. As you can see, I can go into the comments here, which kind of take up the whole screen. But again, more useful than the cover display here. Uh, and then just go ahead and just try Instagram, just to show you some of the commonly used apps. Instagram also fits pretty nicely. You can see, of course, um, you know, all the stories here on the top. I'm going to Daniel's story. I can kind of scroll through again taking full advantage of that cover display and does well. Now, when we open it up, it leads in directly into the app and you can see the flow here. So this flow is pretty nice. And again, really takes advantage of what you have. This internal display is 6.9 inches compared to the 6.7 on the Z Flip, uh, Z Flip 4. So you can see just just in terms of size difference, what you're looking at in terms of size difference here for both displays, you get the idea. Um, and also this is a 165 Hertz display. So much faster refresh rate than the 120 that we have here on the Z Flip 4. So that is actually pretty nice in terms of what you get with the displays. First, looking at the hardware here, you can see there is um, no gap on the Razer at all. While the Galaxy Z Flip 4 does have a little gap, as you know, it doesn't close all the way through the way the hinge design is. The Razer here is pretty much flat and I have got the uh, magenta color here and there are three colors to go through uh, in terms of color options. Now, which is easier to flip? The Galaxy actually does a pretty easy job. I think it's also just because you do have some of that gap, so it's easier to open up and flip. The razor you can, you do have to find a good spot and then of course hit it to flip. So you get the idea there with uh, the razor. What about the hinge factor? How many degrees do you have? Well, razor and uh, Samsung have done a good job in the way both of them actually stay in position. So they've done a good job with just the way the hinges work and they're pretty similar. So you're getting the same effect, although the Galaxy feels a little bit more uh, sturdy uh, when it comes to the hinge movements. Razer uh, kind of just uh, feels just a little bit lighter, but again, pretty solid hinges all the way through. The cover display is great on the Motorola Razer Plus, but the internal display is also no slouch. 6.9 inches as we mentioned compared to the 6.7 on the Z Flip 4 and also less of a visible crease. So you do have a much more fluid feel when you're scrolling or swiping on that display in comparison to the Z Flip 4. But uh, there also is a difference with the refresh rates at 165 hertz. So those gaming sessions will go in, in longer. Now both devices are powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Uh, so you're getting very similar performances here. So we're not gonna go into a deep gaming session. Uh, but the fact that you have that continuity where you can game on one screen and switch to another uh, adds a long way to it. Now, what about the speakers on both devices?
pretty good auto quality in general. I think the Razer Plus is slightly louder than the Z Flip 4, but let me know your thoughts there and what you actually think. Now, when it comes to charging and uh, other accessories, now at the end of the day, both of them are priced the same at $999. You can get the Z Flip 4 cheaper in certain places, but that's at least what you're getting at from Samsung. And Motorola is selling the Razer uh, Plus for $999. At just face value, you're getting more from the Razer Plus than the Z Flip 4. In terms of cameras, they are both uh, at least in similar quality, uh, where of course the Galaxy edges out a little bit, but overall functionality, the Z Flip 4 takes the cake. You've got that larger cover display, which allows you to do more with your device without actually needing to open it up. So whether you're using navigation on the road, uh, you can quickly, of course, pull that up and use, whether you want to go through your social apps, you can do that too. Again, that functionality is great and something the cover screen on the Z Flip 4 does not do. I do want to point out though that yes, there is the Z Flip 5 coming out later on this year. We have to see what it looks like. There are rumors, but we're focusing on these two devices here. And the clear winner is the Razer Plus from Motorola. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, or you want to pick up any of these devices, use our links down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.